Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to take a look at Joy Toys 118 scale Russian Navy infantry set. This is the packaging it comes in. Top left, we have the scale 118. On the top right, Joy Toy. In the center, Russian Naval Infantry. Bottom middle, we have very beautiful artwork of the team. This is a green type box. It looks fantastic. The back of the box shows the Russian Naval Infantry at the top. We have a team photo shot across the top, individual photo shots, and some information here at the bottom. Here up close, you can see individual head sculpts for each character. They also come with a mask alternate head, which is fantastic for army building. Here on the bottom, we have the product parameters, total information, a note, keep away from fire, handle with care. There is important in the instructions of the box please keep in reserve okay there's UPC and some um, symbols for tricking hazards the top and the bottom of the box just basically has joy toy on it she's actually a large type box it's hard to keep in the frame um, this side has Russian naval Infantry. Then we have the ages 17 and up. Warning turkey has a small parts not for children under three, which we've seen before. And this side just says naval, I'm sorry, Russian naval infantry across the entire side. These are a window type box. We can open these things up and take a look and see what it looks like. So once we open up the flap on the front, we can see the beautiful artwork on the actual left. Very nice, and then all the figures we can see inside the clamshell. It's kind of a glare. We're going to take a look at these guys. No sweat. Inside the box, we have the Russian Naval Infantry in product insert. Unfold it. We have accessories and some Chinese. Then we have a photo of the actual characters with their weapons. That's good. On the back, we have another photo of all the figures. Geared down, that's what they look like. So some precautions. If you want to pause and read that, I recommend it. And we have the top flap. Here we have a photo. Uh, well, not a photo, but uh, an image of the actual characters inside their clamshell. The little this set's kind of like a little weapon light in my opinion, but the accessories do come with them are very very nice. So let's go ahead and get these boys outside of the clamshells and see what we got. Okay, here's all five of the troopers outside of the packaging. I must say this is probably one of the sets that are, are highly overdue. There has been a three-pack of Russian soldiers released, you know, a while back. Some of Jewel Toys earlier figures, and they are not very good figures. I highly do not recommend them. We haven't had any new Russian soldiers until now. These are definitely a 10 times step up to what those were. These are incredible. These are very nice for army building. They also give you options for individual characters. Fairly highly detailed. Very looks fantastic. Uh, straight out the box, these are all the same figures. All five of these are exactly the same. Um, the only difference is going to be in this set is when you swap out the individual unmasked head sculpts. And they pretty much almost have, um, I think they all have individual weapons. So these are very cool. So let's start taking a look at the figure up close. So we're going to start off by taking a look at the head sculpt. For the mass version looks like he had too much to drink so he's falling over very very nice with the black baklava mask goggles on the head i love the green olive draft color looks fantastic nice helmet sculpt oh the handles are not removable per design um I do know a few people that was able to get these off. They're just simply glued on if you desire to do that. 
underneath you do have a buckle of a mask so you can get away with doing that if you desire these have very nicely sculpted detailed vest beautiful fantastic nice pouches up here on this side we have the russian federation flag was like a water water uh, decal so i wouldn't put these in hot water if i was you the back we have the back of the vest very well sculpted when we have a kind of a small backpack attached to his belt this is all painted the same color scheme there's a on this arm we have the flag also here we have a belt some pouches on each side here we have a pistol holster which i haven't seen before we'll be taking it has a very small pistol in there i'm gonna say these are probably the best pistol holsters i've ever seen on a joy toy figure we'll get to that here shortly when we look at the accessories it's a pouch here on the side. He has some nicely sculpted and weathered knee pads. Black boots. There's a couple interesting features on this figure I haven't seen before. So we'll definitely take a look at too. We'll take a look at that in the articulations part of our video. He looks fantastic. Very, very cool. It's the back of the figure. So let's do like a 360 look at the figure before we get to the articulation. These are awesome. I, I was very excited when I first seen these because like uh, I've had these Russian figures the first time and they were just, you know, wanted to like them. But the overall design is just, there's too many flaws. And then we had the early, you know, company thing where we had breakages. They have come a long way. That's what makes Joy Toy fantastic as they continue to improve. They listen to the fans, you know, reach out to them if you have any questions or concerns, recommendations. You may see a change in any upcoming figures. Who knows? No other company is doing this and improving on the level that Joy Toy constantly improves on. So, like for example, let's get to some of the articulation. Um, the head. The head seats. Let's see if we can get this off. Well, there we go. The head sits down inside this round piece here of his kind of like a uh, bomber um, protection vest to where you know you're protecting the neck area. So uh, you have to get the head to seat uh, correctly down inside. And then it, well, because of that, it does hinder the articulation because when you turn the head sideways, the chin hits the uh, protective layer there of his vest. And so it really hinders the ability to turn his 360. I'm going to have to go off camera here and fix this. I already fixed it. It's not broke. I just got to get it seated back on. Give me one second. Okay, you can actually see how deep the head sits down inside that protective gear. Um, it makes it a little difficult to get that head on and off, so it does hinder the articulation for um, the ability to look. But he does look side to side, relatively on a human um, perspective. If you want to get crazy with the other 360, then it may cause you some issues. So he does look up. And uh, looking down again, you have to get that chin tucked under there a little side to side not much there are, there is chest articulation is hidden underneath the vest if you remove the vest you can utilize it arms are on a ball joint to rotate 360 did you raise up that much um so they hit the top of the vest here about that far if you force it you probably want to break your joints know the range of your figures so you don't extend too much force on them we have rotation here at the elbow 360 all the way around very nice we have bendable elbows on both sides gets us a nice 90 degrees it's fantastic 
um, our wrist, or the new type, new style wrist. So that has the 360 turn on both, and then you can move your hand around the ball as you see fit in and out, up and down on both hands. Looks really good. With this gear on, he does have a little of a nap crunch back and forth, side to side. Um, but the uh, the gear does hinder that ability. He does sit pretty good. Throw his gear on, obviously until his belt hits his thighs, and then you start getting the uh, resistance. He has a uh, thigh swivel on both legs. What's interesting is, you see this top of his pocket here? It's actually this is connected to this part of the figure. So that will rotate with around the upper ball of the leg, which is really, really cool. I've seen that once or twice, I think, on other figures, but um, this is actually, you know, starting to see it more and more. So they're using this buck more often now. Um, he has double jointed knees. Looks fantastic. More than you're ever going to want. One of the newer things I've seen was, uh, is this, uh, I guess we'll call it his ankle joint. It's a little higher, but, um, so his feet do pivot down and they do pivot back to standard. There's not much of an up, but instead of the joint rotating here at the bottom, it rotates up here. So it's chills at the bottom of his pants and there's no side to side on these figures. Overall, these are fantastic. Um, so the things I've noticed for me, and which is no way a uh, deal breaker for buying these, because these are very, very nice. Especially if you love army building and you need a Russian army. So my thing is to side here. See if I can get me something to point it out with. Guys, noticed uh, right here around the arm. It's definitely you know some significant gapage um, here. I haven't seen that type of uh, body do that before, but it kind of uh, takes away a little bit from the aesthetic. If you guys can see, uh, it most looks like it's not really pegged in all the way, but it actually is, and that's on both sides of the uh, the soldier. But maybe that's their way of helping from eliminating some breakage of joints. Um, I haven't really had any problems with my figures for a long time. Last breakage I had was with a female from the Wasteland Hunters, which, and then before that, it was way back when they had one of the first US Armed Forces sets, and I had to replace my joints, so it was no big deal. Fixed it, not an issue. Um, very nice. So, uh, taking a look at some of the accessories, let's start with this pistol holster. This is really, really cool. I'm going to try to get this out of here. It's uh, kind of seated in there, so you really can't get your finger down in there because of the pouch. Because that pouch is definitely attached to this belt, as long as this pistol holder is. But there is a tiny, tiny pistol in there. You guys can get that out of there. But that's what that looks like without the pistol. These are nice. They fit beautifully in there. See if I can show you how small this thing is. Where did I go? It's hard to show you guys on camera with this. Uh, your fingers getting in the way too much. So that's how small little pistol is. I haven't seen this pistol before, so I think it's a new sculpt. More like we'll see it again if this is something new. It looks really, really cool. I like it. Fits beautifully in his pouch and. See how well it fits because of its size in the figure's hands. It's a little, little tiny pistol. Tiny, tiny pistol. If you guys see my review for the uh, Northern Government Union, or I think that's what it's called. They have tiny, tiny heads. Now we have tiny, tiny pistols. That's good. The trigger figure lines right up with the uh, trigger guard. Awesome. These come pre uh, put in their pistol holsters when you open the packaging up. So uh, be careful they don't 
far, but they go in like uh, very nicely. And I haven't any fallout on me, but you know, every figure is not gonna have the same tolerance, so just be aware that they're there and that you don't uh, um, lose your little pistols because it's gonna be hard to find. Very nice. Overall, that's uh, about all I have for my uh, dislikes of the figure. Um, you know, that shoulder joints. That's about it. Uh, these are beautiful. Nice. So, head, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories that they have. So, I really, really would like to show you guys all these at one time. Let's see if I can come up with something. But these guns, even the figures are so unison with each other, with their outfits. The weapons are all different, but they also are same with being in the same color pattern. And so, this is first off, we have a sniper rifle. Uh, they're pretty much all black with a brown stock, if I can tell. This one has a working bipod that you can fold back and forward. A nicely large scope. That's an, I do like this scarf. It looks fantastic. Front of the gun. The side. And let's see. So the next one we have is this heavy machine gun here. A handle, scope, brown uh, stock. On the other side, we have the uh, large Elmo box attached. Looks really, really good. Okay, the next one we have is like a, it's like a shotgun. Maybe a, a uh, military military grade heavy uh, shotgun. It's very well detailed, very nice. Very cool. The next one we have, they're kind of similar to each other. So we have this AK. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a 47 or 74 or what they're going for here. It's very cool. And then we have the other one that kind of reminds us like an AK. But it has more gear on the front. Over loadout. So it's kind of a comparison there for those two. Um, let's see if I can do this. Oh uh, boy. Okay, there's that one. Do we have this one? So that kind of gives you an idea of how they all look together. They look pretty much like a whole weapon set if you would buy them individually. Look really, really good. Alright. Here he is holding a sniper rifle. Looks cool. There's another image of him holding the sniper rifle. His shoulder pretty good. And I'm sure if you sit down and you could tweak it even make it look even cooler for display purposes. Here he is holding the shotgun. It's really cool. Do you love these weapons? They look fantastic with the overall design and color or aesthetics of the uh, figures. Here's our heavy. Looks really fantastic. I really, really love this weapon. Lots of sculpting detail in that. Here he is with the AK. The more uh, geared out AK version. Looks really good. And here he is one with the uh, lesser loadout. Uh, but he does have that front grip. It's very, very cool. So even though you have a universal team of soldiers, you do have a little bit of diversity in their weapons loadout. So you have a heavy, a sniper, a couple uh, fast maybe uh, tech soldiers and a commander, so to speak. You could break it down in that kind of uh, way. Uh, it's your figures. You can do what you want with them. Be very, very cool. Or you can just go with a full dual wheel AK full on assault. 
Very nice. All right, so let's uh, let's start taking a look at the different head sculpts. So the first head sculpt we have uh, a blonde character. Let's see if we can take a look at those up close. Very nice, detailed, shaved, kind of thick on his sides. More uh, come towards the back of the head. Comes down to a point in the back. Nicely face sculpt. Kind of has a scowl on his face. Looks really, really cool. Next one up is another blind character. He has more, he has less hair, more of just a like buzz blonde haircut. His mouth is kind of open. I don't think they painted the teeth. That's his teeth sticking out. Eyes are kind of dark. Very nice. Very cool. For comparison of the two blonde characters. Here we go. I think these look fantastic. I just keep enjoying the different head sculpts that George Way puts out with their sets. I am so glad they stopped using same head for multiple figures. Oops. Nick, I had too much to drink still. Now we know which one it is from earlier when he passed out with his helmet on. These are cool. Very cool. Next up we have this guy. His head sculpt it has pretty basic expression. His brown hair just combed. Not too too bad. Trying to keep that in focus. I'm trying to get you guys some very nice close up Im images of the head sculpts. I think they look great. Brown hair just come backwards. Looks cool. The other brown haired character. This one definitely looks like he's mean. Got a huge scowl on his face, his mouth, on each side of his mouth there. Um, just a buzz cut. I wonder if uh, this kind of figure. No, nope, it's a different head sculpt. This had the same kind of hair, I guess. I thought it was just a repaint, but it's not. You see, the mouth is totally different. Here is a comparison with both brown head sculpts. Very nice. So I'm gonna have to push this head down. I don't think it's all the way on. And the last of the five is a black-haired character. Um, he has a frown on his face too. Black hair just come back. Looks fantastic. I wonder if this is the same one as the other one with the frown on his face. This is the brown head sculpt guy. That may be the head, same head sculpt. But you can't really tell because of two different color hair. It does make it look totally different. So. That doesn't bother me too much then. It does definitely give you like a different person appearance. So I'm cool with it. Okay, so the last accessories we get in this set is some alternate hands. You get five of them. Let's see what we got here. You got a fist hand. Very small. This goes over that ball. We have a gripping hand. Uh, we have another fist hand, like a punching hand. Here we have a gripping hand and a, another gripping hand. So yeah, that's about all the accessories. In my opinion, it's kind of light for uh, what we're used to getting in these multi-pass, but 
these are super cool. Um, highly recommend them. These are on a more pricier side for this set. You're looking about, uh, for price wise, we're talking about like you know close to ninety dollars from China. So that's where they are for price. Here's all five figures standing together, so you can take a look at an overall idea of what they look like without their helmets on. Um, I must say, this also, these guys are a pain to try to get them to stand by themselves, so maybe this takes a little bit of getting them, you know, worked up and used from being brand new, but they're quite, they fall over a good bit. Um, so that, that's not really an issue, it's just kind of irritating. And here's a comparison with their American counterparts. This is the Force Recon set made by Joy Toy. They look amazing. Put these guys up against each other. Russian, Russians versus Americans. This Re Force Recon set is pretty well desirable right now. Almost impossible to get. Um, I haven't seen them online even on a secondary market on eBay there if you do find them you're gonna pay a pretty penny for them this is probably one of my absolute favorite sets is the American Force Recon Just, they look fantastic now I have some Russians for them to take on some nice dioramas some playability they look fantastic it's at a scale with one of the Astro Rain figures look pretty cool do like it very much. Here's how they scale with the Jazz Wears 118 scale Master Chief. Looks really good together, surprisingly. I do like that look. Wow. Yeah, well, I highly recommend this set. It looks fantastic. Uh, I think once uh, the community of collectors really started getting some nice upcoming photos or um, videos from some of the YouTube creators like myself they're probably going to pick up in popularity because it is really not much out there just so you can see how close how you know close up how detailed these are how great they're going to be and I think they're going to end up being eventually very difficult to come by just like the force free concept um just because they're beautiful, like they're a perfect army trooper set. You can just I bought two sets myself because I want I do enjoy the head sculpts, as you can see from the recon throughout the uh the Russian sets, the head sculpts are fantastic. Um for me I bought because I wanted to have the five head sculpts available and then behind them I want to have the five Baklava and helmet sculpts on the troops for like a troopers behind them. Um, so they look fantastic. A team of 10 men. So that's what I've done. Um, these are very cool. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. If you've already subscribed, thank you guys for your support, for watching all my videos. I really appreciate it. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. Um, I'm sure guys are going to wonder, like, where do I get this Force Free concept? I'm just going to answer those questions in this video so you don't waste your time commenting. They're, like I said, they're hard to find. They're very, very sought after. Um, so they're not available anywhere that I know. I can't give you, if I could, I would give you advice where you could pick them up. If you do find them, um, and there's a lot, somebody has a lot of them, share it with the community. Please comment down below because maybe other people look for, I'm sure the newer Joy Joy collectors are looking for that set. Um, so I'm sorry I don't have an answer for that, but I know that's going to be a lot of questions about that. Um, but I love featuring this set in this video just to, guys, just to show you how well they go together. Um, I wish you guys happy collecting. Thank you for watching. Have fun. Play with your figures. Be careful. Don't know, don't use too much force. Don't put them in hot water. And uh, we'll see you in our next review.